And it is a beautiful day here in Springfield, Ohio, as your Wittenberg Tigers will take on the Earlham Quakers. Sam Monachino alongside my illustrious partner, Tanner Boros. Tanner, how are you today? I'm doing good, Sam. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Me and Tanner had a long day of nursing NCLEX prep, and the one thing that got us through it was knowing we were going to be able to call some Tigers baseball here tonight. Tanner has his Wendy's. I have my stats, and we are ready for a great night of baseball. Austin Luther, the sophomore on the mound tonight for their Tigers. The Tigers rocking their red tops and white pants. Meanwhile, the Quakers rocking an all-gray look with white numbering. Quakers come in with a record of 11-3 on this young season. Meanwhile, the Tigers come in with an 8-4 record, 2-0 and in home, 5-3 one one in, in neutral play, 1-1 one one on the road. Their last game was against Marietta College, the number one team in the nation, where the Tigers fell by a score of 5-0. Tanner, we talked about it in the last game where this is a much different Tigers squad than last year. How can the Tigers use that Marietta game kind of as a measuring stick and, and kind of go up against this Earlham team when, and take some things from that last matchup? You know, talking with Michael Osmond, he said that the pitching was phenomenal. Talking with Michael Osmond, uh, he said that the pitching was phenomenal that game, and that was something to really take from the game. Um, obviously, hitting wasn't there, but that's as to be expected with this younger uh, offense the Tigers have. Austin Luther right there delivering his second strike of the game. Brings the count to 0-2. Up to bat right now for the Earlham Quakers. Number one, Nathan Lanchanese. Lanchanese, a sophomore standing 5'10", 175 pounds out of Lexington, Kentucky. He has a twin in on the dame. And Tanner, what just kind of happened there but with that little interaction? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe uh, something, he blocked the ball. Ah. The ball nicked uh, Matt on the thigh, so. Got it. Luther delivers the third pitch, and that's going to be a ball outside. So up for now for the Quakers is Lanchanese, followed by number 26, David ba Devin Baisley. And then in the hole, number three, Maxwell Fries. Luther getting his direction from man behind home plate. Matt Moore with the delivery and the pitch. That ball is going to be in the dirt for ball two. Count goes to two and two now. We're going into the later days of March, Tanner, but still the weather refuses to turn to springtime. How does that impact a baseball game? You don't really think of weather very often with baseball. That play is going to be made from Chase Wisner over to the first baseman, Jack Seifert, and that will be the first out of this game for the Tigers. Well, Sam, back to your question with uh, how it affects the baseball. Uh, it doesn't really affect pitching much. It might slow down the velocity a touch, but the big difference you're going to see is with the bats. They're going to have less pop, less home runs, so offense in a, is going to be down in colder weathers. Devin Baisley now in to hit for your Quakers. He is a junior standing 5'9", 175 from Allen Park, Michigan. Baisley awaits the pitch, and he is going to take that for called ball two. So 2-0 two oh count now. Baisley comes in hitting a 305 average, and then... He's had 59 at-bats, 15 runs, 18 hits on this young season. That ball is going to go foul. Count will go now to 2-1. and one. Luther in the windup. Ball just outside. So now the Quakers' number two hitter has a hitting count at three and one. Austin Luther coming in this season, having a good pitching performance. That ball is gonna be hit down the third baseline to Dylan Jackson. Jackson going to try and throw it, and he is able to make the play over at first. Good recovery there right from the sophomore third baseman. 
And the Tigers now have retired their second out. Tanner, you have some stats on Austin Luther. Yes, uh, Luther in five appearances has a 3.22 ERA. He has one win, no losses. 